Hello and welcome to this session. For this session, we will see a simple LCD, monochrome LCD, and which has 16 characters in a row multiplied by two rows, two lines. Initially, we will see it's working, how it works, the pin numbers. Later, we will see the connection with Arduino and uh, programming. So this is a very basic setup. Uh, in fact, uh, this diagram shows the number of pins and the pins used for. So straight away we can easily recognize uh, VCC and ground. That means ground and 5 volts. You can simply give it from your uh, Arduino board. At the end, again we have cathode and anode. The last is ground. You can see the, the first pin is ground and the last pin is also ground. And this cathode and anode uh, for the LCD backlight. So you may or may not use this last two lines which is completely optional. Fine, coming to uh, third pin V0. So V0 is LCD contrast so you have to connect a uh, potentiometer or knob which will give you variable voltage and that variable voltage will allow you to uh, control the contrast of the LCD. So this is also important. The fourth pin RS stand for register select. So register select you can uh, imagine as a control and uh, sorry command register and data register. So what is a command register? Command register is configuring LCD. So you will send some commands from your Arduino which will configure the LCD to receive data or scroll data maybe initialize LCD, initialize the cursor so these are different configuration commands like uh, okay we will see that those list so these configuration commands are provided by the manufacturer so all you need to do is send that hexadecimal configuration command 8-bit command and your LCD will get configured so the same data lines D0 to D7 D0 to D7 can be used as uh, command register or data register. So this switch right here RS will allow you to either uh, send data which is ASCII character or send command which is the commands provided by the manufacturer uh, in the data sheet which allow you to configure the LCD. The fifth pin is read write. As the name suggests read write means either you want to read from LCD which is very rare or you want to write to LCD which is very common. So RW0 is writing to LCD which almost always we do it and how do you make a RW0? It's very simple you just connect it to ground. So no need of uh, dedicating one of your microcontroller pin to make to send 0 volts to LCD. Uh, the sixth pin is enable E and this enables uh, LCD to accept information. So you you might be sending a configuration command to LCD then you have to tell LCD okay now the command is ready you start executing it start accepting it. So moment this uh, enable pin uh, gets triggered with a high to low pulse it start accepting the information it start reading pin number um, this 4 5 pin number 4 5 and this data lines that simple you can see it's mentioned here so last 15 and 16 you know it's an LCD backlight I hope you got you got a basic idea of LCD and the most uh, I think most complex part for you might be the RS and enable but believe me they are as simple as that RS0 means selecting the register command register RS1 is selecting a data register so when you send the data you can't send a configuration command when and vice versa okay so uh, these LCDs they they are not breadboard friendly so first we have to solder the pins the 16 pins with jumpers uh, the pins which which are easy to connect to LCD so let's switch to our soldering station so here we are with our 16 cross 2 LCD 
and you might have already noticed we need to solder these pins extension pins to this LCD so that we can connect it easily to our breadboard or Arduino for that we need a soldering iron you can see it is has already powered we need solder paste which is optional so this is our solder paste and this is our solder solder wire you can see it here so first of all so let me put it put this extension pins to LCD like this okay now I, I, I can directly solder using this solder wire or I will apply this solder paste so that it, it will reduce the melting point of this solder so what I will do is I will simply take this and take the solder paste and I will just dip them once and let me remove the solder paste we no longer need that and let me con connect it again fine so so let me place it like this so that it rests firmly to the ground it doesn't shake and I can start soldering so there is no one perfect way to do solder but uh, what I usually do is I take the soldering iron so let me keep this far and use the solder paste to direct to directly apply solder to the pins so you need to hold it for a while maybe a half a second so that the solder gets melt okay so let me hold it here and let me give you a closer look you can see I soldered two pins so likewise I will solder the rest of it and we will resume uh, as soon as I finish this so now we have finished the soldering of our 16 pins and let's come back to the circuit diagram so the circuit diagram is very minimal and it uses only four data lines so you might recall that our data lines we can we can configure the LCD by giving either four data lines or use the complete eight data lines. The only drawback with four data lines is the response could be slower, but that is totally fine because the refresh rate is more than what we looking for. So with four data lines, obviously we can save four data pins of uh, Arduino. So this circuit is very, very minimal. And as you know, we have connected a uh, potentiometer to con control contrast and pin number 11 and 12 11 is connected to enable and 12 is connected to uh, register select and read write pin here is connected to ground which means we are writing to LCD so coming to the program so now our simple aim is to display two strings on two different rows of this LCD display so let me clear and so on the left hand side you can see our circuit which is connected the only difference this to this circuit is we have our uh, anode and cathode lines connected here okay so which brings the um, backlight on so the program is not yet uh, sent to the microcontroller Arduino so we have to write the program so for that so you can see I have included here uh, liquid crystal dot H but let me let me remove it and you can simply go to to uh, sketch include library and you can include liquid crystal so this will add liquid crystal dot H so what I mentioned in the previous program is applicable here too so the thing is you need not to remember any of these libraries the best way is to uh, look for the reference language reference so you can simply go to help and click on reference 
So this will open an offline page in your web browser and here you can find different language reference. So you have inbuilt functions etc etc. So when you come to the bottom of this page you can see looking for something else you can go to library page and this will bring that offline libraries and here you can see some standard libraries which we have included from our sketch like here the all libraries are documented in this page you can go to liquid crystal and read about the documentation so it simply says uh, it's based on Hitachi uh, this version number compatible chipset which is very popular so almost all 16 cross 2 LCDs they support this liquid crystal library so the library works in either 4-bit or 8-bit mode that is 4 bits using 4-bit data lines or 8-bit data lines so like we have seen already we are using 4-bit uh, data lines so in the 4-bit data lines it's mandatory to use the higher 4 bits which is d4 d5 d6 and d7 so according to this api so the first function is liquid crystal and this function as you can read here so actually I know about this liquid crystal but I don't want to start programming it I want you to get used to this reference manual so every time we have so many libraries so you cannot remember all of them so use the offline documentation which is very very good practice so here you can see we have this example syntax example which shows how to use in use it for 8 bit and for 4 bits so in now 4 bit mode instead of using read write pin we will directly connect this read write pin to ground and we will save one more bit so the first one uh, is good for us so I will create a variable instance of this liquid crystal and simply type liquid crystal let's say the variable is LCD the example is also provided in this uh, program which is very very minimal we will do little more than that so just create a variable LCD and now we have to look for the pin numbers so come to a diagram you can see uh, before that just remember the first variable is register select the second variable is enable argument sorry the first argument is register select and in our case first argument is register select and which pin is register select pin number 4 is register select which goes to pin number 12 so I will type 12 comma and the next is enable so enable according to our circuit is pin number 11 which goes to enable which is here pin number 6 connect enable now the data lines you can see the d4 the d4 data line this one is connected to digital pin 5 and d2 so 5 4 3 2 d2 is connected to d7 not d2 sorry digital pin 2 of arduino is connected to d7 of lcd so according to our LCD liquid crystal function what does it say it says d4 d5 d6 and d7 so these are the uh, four data lines so our data lines are here so 5 4 3 2 so I will simply write here 5 is connected to d4 4 is connected to d5 3 is connected to d6 and 2 is connected to d7 semicolon and this is our first function so we are initializing uh, the library with number of interface pins so this could be inside this void setup also but it's better you can keep it outside so that both the functions can make use of it or any other functions you write later so you can have more than two functions setup and loop and setup and loop are the mandatory functions so in the setup so we have created an lcd variable so lcd dot begin 
now now we have to see what is this begin because i wrote begin you need not to have uh, you do not to remember this begin let's go back and you can see the second function is begin and what does documentation of begin says it says initializes the interface to the lcd screen and specify the dimension width and height of the display begin need to be called before any other any other lcd library commands so the first you have to call this liquid crystal you have to create a variable lcd first after that and after that the begin is very important not very important it's mandatory you have to call begin after this creating this liquid crystal instance so lcd dot begin so begin takes two variables columns and rows so what are columns so you can see these are our columns uh, 16 columns likewise and these are our rows two rows so the first row is called as 0 and the second row is called as 1 similarly the first column is 0 and the last column is yes 15 I'm not a good uh, draw fine uh, lcd dot begin so we will say number of come to documentation we will say number of columns is 16 columns we want to use all uh, 16 uh, sorry we'll use all 16 columns and we'll use both the rows so here you need not to put 0 and 1 so here count is required so 16 is the count and 2 is again number of rows in the next variable which is which we will use lcd dot set cursor and here let's go back to set cursor documentation you can see this is the set cursor so set cursor says position the LCD cursor. So the cursor can be individually configured. You can see here, um, you can put your cursor either on 0th position, which is the first. Uh, you can put your cursor here on the 0th position means 0th row and 0th column. So this is 0th row and 3rd column because this is 0 1 2 3 so the count now becomes from 0 uh, likewise so where do you want to keep your cursor so I want to keep my cursor at um, 0 0 so what does 0 0 means it means 0th row which is means the first row for us and 0th column which is first column or to make it more simpler uh, it's better to say 0th row and 0th column so this will initialize 0th row and 0th column which is this one this row starting from here now there is clear there is another function to print you can see print and this will print text to the LCD so LCD dot print we can simply write here LCD dot print and let me say first row okay so this will print our uh, on 16 cross 2 configuration on 16 cross 2 configuration I'm saying set the cursor to first position that is 0th row and 0th column and print their first row so let's first do this how do we confirm let's upload this program control U to upload compile and done so you can see 
uh, the first row is printed on first row of course and you can see there is nothing printed on second row so let's you can simply copy these three lines and reproduce here and make the changes in fact this line is not required this configuration is different than this set cursor and now the set cursor now move the cursor to 0th row now we want to make it to first row and 0th column okay so the first row is this so this is column and this is row and this is column we want to start the cursor from 0th column and first row and let me press say second row or second row control u to upload and program uploaded and it says second row now it's very simple you can do your display applications now it opens a uh, lot of doors for you to send digital data on a display now getting back to our function list in the reference manual you can see there are a bunch of other functions which which we will not see it not right now but we may use them in some later programs so it says scroll display left scroll display right auto scroll and there are many such functions okay so you are free to explore them and discuss them over forums and let's come to okay before before we move to next video let us do some more simple experiments like changing the first row so, sorry in the column to 3 so what will happen so 0 1 2 3 so it will move to fourth position so the cursor should move in this case cursor should move so this is the 0th position 0 1 2 3 so cursor will move to third position so we will just simply upload this program and we'll see it working right so try with this play around and it's very easy to display text on an LCD using Arduino libraries you can see simply we have written a few lines of code and we didn't use void loop okay so I forgot to mention this even if you don't use loop you still have to keep that loop template because the loop function is required by Arduino syntax the reason we didn't use loop because we are not uh, because the LCD doesn't clear the screen uh, after displaying it retains the text because LCDs do have its own controller in it and for that reason we are not uh, continuously refreshing the display of LCD so once the text is sent it is there forever suppose you have another application where you want to display the text uh, depending on some input suppose you want to show a temperature values which is a dynamic value on LCD in that case we will use the functions in the void loop so that those things we will see in our data sessions for now this is the introductory session for LCD hope you have enjoyed it and you will explore them further see you then